Okay, here's the latest letter from T-Bone. Peace, my brother. Thanks for the letter. I really needed it, man. The pain was unreal. There are no words to express it, my brother. He's talking about now the sudden tragic death of his daughter last year. I cried and the thoughts would come of my beautiful little girl and the crying would start all over again. As a man, a father, I should have been there, but these racist cops and people in the justice system arrested me because I'm a large black man with a criminal record and they charged me with crimes they knew I didn't commit. There wasn't even evidence that a crime had occurred. Nothing ever happened, Sean. Nothing, nothing. I am in here and my child has died. Why? Because yes, God has rescued me from a life of sin, but I know he didn't want me away from my children for something I didn't do. It's really sad. Okay. Now he's thanking everybody for sending money to his donation page. All the people who have done that. The link is in the description box below this video if you want to donate to T-Bone. The money I receive has gone to food, legal expenses, soap, deodorant, shoes when I need them, and headphones. Right, now he's going on to a story in the prison. There's one guy, a gangster from Chicago, GD. There's about eight of them from here and here. He stole something from a guy who was set up. This guy put a shank in his mattress yesterday and they rolled the guy up. This GD asshole went into the wreck shack and took the guy's CD player. He called me a rat because I asked him if he had it. So I caught with him and asked him what's up with the name calling in this place. Being called a rat is serious. He said I said what I said. I split his lip after he tried to hit me. I shouldn't have done it because I am a believer, Sean. I could have walked away and I should have had an excuse for that behavior. It is extremely dangerous being called a rat in prison. Being strong isn't always in fighting. Every single day is a battle, Sean. I don't always tell you all the crap that's going on here, but you know how this place is, and I've decided to stand up for what is right, and it's hard. That letter you sent my, me was warm, brother, and full of love and true friendship. This was the letter I sent to T-Bone after his daughter had died, you know, offering support. Sean, everyone must know what these people are really up to. They charge black men who aren't wealthy with crimes just to get them off the streets. Then once you're off the streets and part of the system, they keep you there. They try to find a way to take your life. Black men make up a disproportionate amount of prison inmates when the American population of black men is only 12%. Yeah, there are some states where the black prison population is like more than half the prison population. I didn't do any of the crimes they charge you with. They know that and they don't care. When it comes to rich whites or blacks, they make sure there's enough evidence before a judge and then they proceed. So he's contemplating getting a lawyer somehow. I do believe it's a good idea to hire one, but I want you to vet this person, maybe someone from California or New York, someone who doesn't go along with the good old boy system in Arizona, who says he's got a record, let him stay in there. Someone who's open-minded and wants to fight for your rights in the state system and feds. Someone who wants to win, Knowing the situation is hard because the system holds all of the cards, so to speak. 
So if there's anyone out there in America who's a lawyer and if you want to help T-Bone, send me an email. I'll pop my email in the description box below this video. Let me share this with you, my brother. The GD kids are youngsters that come from broken families. This one kid was really pushing for me to kick his butt. So I grabbed him and talked to the kid. I really grabbed him and Sean, he was scared until I told him that Jesus loves him. He started crying. I was really uptight at first because I didn't expect that type of reaction. He took this is really sad now. He told me his mother was a crackhead. She was pimped out by his grandfather who also pimped out his grandmother. His grandfather also pimped out his aunts. He was our hard inside because of all that and he only wanted peace. I saw all that Sean. I saw all his pain. I know a lot of guys here come from bad homes or childhoods and they are and were looking for a connection to someone or something because of their broken lives at homes. It is sad hearing all the stories. You know, a third of the prisoners couldn't read or write, just, just coming from these broken homes and all these predatory private prisons and other corporations just trying to make money off the back of their suffering. There's so much pain in this place and there's so much evil that on a bright sunny day one can actually see the darkness. I'm always standing between two men ready to fight over things like 30 cents or a luck that is exchanged that is perceived to be whatever the person's perception is. A lot of guys have already made up their minds about certain things and one can't reason with them. Some people believe that it's okay to say rude things that they know is harmful and would cause problems and that is part of the evil I'm talking about. I lost my child, this youngster lost his mother and these evil nasty minded men started to say mean hearted things and when you walk away they would actually put their hands on you or push you, make feints at you. The cops would tell them to stop but when I saw that kind of evil when they were actually laughing at this young man who lost his mother I knew by the grace of God that they were really looking for some sign of weakness inside him and me. I know it's odd it's cold but people here are clever. It's an evil cleverness. Some of the ways people do things in here are really amazing when you look at it. I had to make a move on them Sean before they made their move and I did when the one kid who calls himself their leader had to go to school to get his GED. I met him in the hallway of the education building and simply told him to stop his game playing crap. He laughed and said, look, N word, fuck you. My heart jumped a couple of beats as he was looking into my eyes. I said, young man, Jesus loves you just the way you are. He thought long and hard and another guy walked up and said to me, brother, thank you for the prayer. Man, do I feel much better. The kid walked away with the other kid and later that evening, the other kid told me what was the prayer for and how it works. Well, do I need to say more? God has worked and it is working on that young man. He apologized to me and he and his crew aren't trying to recruit people by playing them into a response or reaction and then using that as a way to make them feel good or wanted. It's strange, I know, but it does work on some people. I've got the money on my books for the TV, shoes, I'm ordering it now. Thank you, my brother. And the donation link is in the description box. You're a man of honor, Sean, you're a blessed man. Keep up all the good that you are doing. You're in my prayers, God bless you. Each one to each one, strength and honor, steel embrace, T-Bone. So T-Bone appreciates all of your love and support. I'm doing events across the country. Go to the description box in the link below this video if you want to come to one of my events. If you're unemployed or a student, I have five free guest spaces for the Funzing Talks only. Send me an email. Emails in the description box. We'll see if we can get you in. And also got lots of new podcasts coming onto the channel here. Trying to get one up at least every week right now or two weeks at the latest. Thanks to your feedback, steering the channel, putting forward always these these different guest ideas, got some, um, just get to sit down and talk to these guys and hear their fascinating stories. Take care out there. Cheers from London.